Hey everybody, Rock Paper Mario here, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Legends Arceus. In the last part, we um, pressed the wrong button probably numerous times. In this part, we are going to continue with the story, but also in the last part, I was like, we need to rename these guys, these Pokemon that we have, this shiny Luxray that we have burning a hole in our pocket. Um, I'm guessing what we. Wait a second, why can't I rename you? Oh, I can. <laughs> You might want to start changing your ways or changing your name. I decided we might as well call this guy Kerochan since he's like a yellow lion guy. I mean, how many other times is that going to happen? So, I need to get back to watching Clear Card Arc. I haven't like watched like... I haven't watched hardly... Well, no, I watched like... What was the last one I watched? I can't remember whether the last one I watched was like the one with the... Well, no, it wasn't the one with, like, the weird camera one in the in the maze. Was it, like, the one where she fell asleep when she was having a lovely tea party? So, so, so something to eat with her friend, the English girl or whatever? I've been meaning for ages to call this Lilligant Utana because it's a... Because it's just gonna kick ass, pretty much. And I don't know why I've, I've waited so long to do it. Well, it's because it wasn't in our party. Now it is. Well, time to give this guy, um, a taste of, well, no, this guy, Irida. And this guy, who looks like he should be pushing around a, <laughs> he should be pushing around a shopping trolley full of cans. <laughs> he's fucking minging. <laughs> Suck your dad. <laughs> You'll need a hand from Sneasler in order to meet Electrode. The, the Snee, the Onceler. Whether she'll see fit to help you ever, we can only find out by making the journey. Now let's have a safe journey to Mount Coronet. All aboard! A bit like you, what, tapped? A bit just like... How so? Yeah, so apparently this guy is from Pokemon Black 2 and White 2, or Pokemon Black and White. I wouldn't know. I never even finished Pokemon White. Like, there's about three times in my life that I've, like, picked it up again and was like, you know what, I should give this a chance. And usually it's because, like, um, also I love the area that we're going to, by the way. Shouldn't, like, Riley have shown up sometime by now? Not that I don't already have my hands full with all the characters in this game, but, like, doesn't he show up sometime soon, I thought? Anyway. The, um, this guy's making Poffin or some shit, or Poke Block. Well, no, it's Poffin in, in Gen 4, isn't it? And Poke Block. I've seen enough Poke Block to last me a lifetime. Scatter Bang set, Great Ball set, Max Revive set. I do not need to look at Faulkner's Great Ball set. Hang on a second, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, Poke Block. I've seen more Poke Block than I ever need to see in my life. I feel like I should be changing my outfit, actually. Get yourself a new outfit! And boots and pants and boots and pants and backpacks, backpacks, come get your backpacks. Haircuts! Boots and pants and boots and pants. This is like my, my ocean attire when I'm ocean man. I should be wearing something else going to the... going If I'm going hiking in the mountains in Colorado. Let's just see, first of all, what do I have on offer here? Festival top, festival top, snow jacket. That's pretty sharp looking. But yeah, like, I, I feel like I'll never, I'll never want to make another Poke Block again after I actually went to the trouble of, uh... After I actually went to the trouble of, um, do you know what, let's get this snow jacket it's fucking expensive hang on a second no we'll just have to freeze yes I am finished shopping for now 5,000 lunar dollars for a jacket who do you think you are fucking Yves Saint Laurent here in how many customers do you think you're going to have you have like a, a ca like well, I suppose on the one hand, she has, like, a captive audience, but, like, the people of, of wherever we are, Hisui, are just gonna go ahead and make their own jacket out of, like, Bidoof... Bidoof fur or something. 
But yeah, when I actually went to the trouble as a ch as a child, as a little 14-year-old, 13 or 14-year-old, to make enough poke block out of fucking chesto berries. First of all, to go to the trouble of getting enough chest. Well, no. First of all, to go to the trouble of catching a fucking fee bass with th the correct nature to make it conducive to being beautiful. That's a task and a half. Then to go to the trouble of getting enough fucking chesto berries to make enough fucking poke blocks with that guy who won't contaminate my poke blocks with all other manner of random things. Also, he's here. Not to mention the fact that you're talking to a dead guy. The magnetism. You know nothing about magnetism. <laughs> the. Uh, anyway. Oh, the Diamond Clan. This is what I'm, that's more, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, Ursa Luna, whatever. That bear is more trouble than it's worth. The um, we have so many. Did I just run? I didn't know you could like run faster, Pokey. I didn't know that was possible. I thought when I, like, pressed the, the thing in, I'd crouch because I was in, like, Z Breath of the Wild mode. These are all just Pokemon we've seen before. Yanmas and Parasects and Lions and Tigers and Bears. And a Yanmega, which we already have. I thought that guy was going to make me fight him, that loser. Give us a raise, you loser. The, um... What was I saying? Oh, yeah. Make enough Poke Block to just evolve Feebas into Milotic. Or Milotic, as I called it then. I think I still do call it Milotic. But, um. I never want to make another Poke Block ever again. You see, the thing is, now I might be wrong. This was just me trying to, like, figure out what I was doing when I was just. when I was young and innocent. But, like, from what I remember, if you make the Poke Block anywhere except on your own or with that one guy where he's just on his own, these people will just throw random things into the into the fucking pot. Some, like, five-year-old is there, like, have a look at this Peacha Berry or whatever. I'm like, I don't need that. Don't you understand what we're trying to achieve here? This isn't about you. It's about me and this Feebass and trying to get him to reach his potential. Anyway, that's a, that's enough like, trauma. <laughs> okay, block related trauma for one day. <laughs> oh, there's a spirit here. The spirit in the sky. Hang on a second. Just let me get out of here for a second. Just let me. There are too many like big intimidating Pokemon around here with big meaty claws. But, uh, what was I talking about? I didn't know that you could run by pushing in the left stick. I thought it, that was going to make me crouch, but apparently crouch is B. And jump is Y. Okay, we're back in the game. Get you, get you, get you, get your head in the game. Get you, get your head in the game. This is going to be under here. Probably just some stupid graveler again. Well, it is, but I can't say- where are, where are all the Pokemon gone? <laughs> where did they all go? <laughs> They're just nowhere to be- no, there's Lucina, Jesus. Dude, the Rondo Revolution, or Rinbu Revolution. That's another one of those things like Rose of May, Loss of Me. I feel like I talk about that like every- every five episodes. So do you know the way there's like- do you know like Beatrice's team or whatever in- Final Fantasy 9, sometimes you see it called Rose of May, which makes sense, right? Because it's like a rose and the season is May or whatever. And then other times you just see it called Loss of Me, like whatever that is supposed to mean. It sounds cool, don't get me wrong, but like, but like what's it supposed to mean? Loss of Me? There's like too many Yan Mega here. I thought that was two Yan Mega stacked on top of each other. What a sight to behold that would be. 
Let me guess, this is another worm Adam or Splash Woman. No, whoa, whoa. <laughs> no, no, it's not. It's not a worm Adam at all. Can I just use like Drain Punch on you? A quick one, an agile Drain Punch. Don't overdo it now. Don't do that thing where like. All of a sudden, there's a pivotal. What the hell did he just do to me? It was like a regular drain to get some of my HP back. It's a good thing we ran into this guy, cause oh, Aerial Ace, that's what he's doing. <laughs> no wonder, <laughs> fucking got shellacked. <laughs> okay, Caro Chan, it's up to you. Well, looks like we weren't going to do the, uh... Looks like we weren't going to get possessed by the spirit of whatever that guy is that comes out of the castle and then in a pivotal moment just end up, like... Just end up railing whoever we're fighting against. I still haven't finished that either. That's... No, don't fight. That's the wrong button, Amanda. Still haven't finished that either. I'm, like, halfway through it exactly. But the thing is, like, I find, like... I can't, like, watch it. What do you mean... Escape from the ball. Yeah, you grow in rage. Fuck off. Ha. Ah. The thing is, like, with me and and revolutionary girl Utana, I watch it, right? But I find like it's so like emotionally and like aesthetically intense that like I can't watch it for more than. Like, one episode, one or two episodes at a time. It's hard to describe, but it's just, like, very intense to watch, and I'm just like, I can't, I can't deal with this. Come on, Sasuke. Should we not, like, go up and... So what's weird is that, like, to run when you're with the animal is B, even though that does the opposite when you're a human being. And then when you, like, push down the, the the left joystick, whatever they call it these days, L3. I actually hate that button. Like, I hate that they're, that, that L3 and R3 are, are a ting. Excuse me, coaster, stop sticking to the bottom of my coffee mug. The, um... The because it's just like, what happens to me is like, when, so, no, I don't want to rest, I want to get into the box. Well, no, I don't want to do that either. Just get rid, get all this crap out of here. Like, what happens to me is when I'm playing Breath of the Wild, or, or Tragic Kingdom, or whatever, and I'm stressed, I, can I make Ultra Balls now? Two energy balls. No, I can't. I don't have the recipe for it yet, because Celine hasn't, like, thought that, that I don't, doesn't think I deserve it yet. There's a statue of Probo Pass. Since when did I acquire all these portraits of Patrick? But yeah, what happens is I get stressed playing Breath of the Wild or Breath of the Wild 2 or whatever. And then... I end up, like, accidentally, in, like, in my, like, frenzy, I end up accidentally pushing the button in. Like, the left stick button. And then I end up crawling, and it's like, that's the last thing you want to do. The electrode known as Lord of the Hollow is somewhat different from the electrode I recall. But its electrical discharge, at least, are familiar. One false step, and it could put you in danger. Oh yeah, speaking of black and white, I got black and white when I was but a child. Well, no, when I was but a college student. <laughs> when I was but a college student. <laughs> and... And the thing is, like, with black and white, I was actually, like, really looking forward to it at the time because, like, I loved the I... Who's talking now? Oh, it's Melly. We stand Melly here. In the battle of... In the... In the war for hearts and minds of the people, Melly beats Ingo. In, in like, a in, a... in a landslide. Well, well, Warden Ingo of the Pearl Clan at oh my, the galaxy run from below. You're punching well above your weight to seek out the rage Electrode Lord of the Hollow. 
The sheer tenderness of my heart, I'll grant you a trial to see if you're worthy. The greatest obstacle you'll ever face is right here. Battle me if you dare. Absolutely not. <laughs> Can't we make love, not war, Melly, please? Let me tell you, the great Melly has taken this whole situation. The frenzy of our nobles is nothing other than a mark of Almighty Sinnoh's favor and protection. I love how, like, Melly is, like, some sort of, like, revisionist history person. <laughs> The Diamond Clan, like, is like, the, like Meli is like a false prophet or, so, or something. <laughs> the Diamond Clan are like, no, this is how the world works, and Meli's just like, nah, kind of, but actually, not really. <laughs> the very reason I am here on this earth. What business is it of the galaxy teams anyway? If Electro lets loose a few sparks out here in the mountains. Melly's fighting for the right to spark. Rather than persist in his folly, I'm with that bon voyage. He even has a trademark hat. You're not even from here. You're from Pokemon Black and White, the, po the games that I never even finished. Press on. Let let's just do this thing. I'm standing out here in the snow. You might look like looking like shit, but I personally do not. Here you'll find Pokemon like Goldbat. I've never seen one of them before. It's quite dim inside. You'll need to watch your step. The, um... We're going into the Wayback Machine. So yeah, like, I was really excited about Pokemon Black and White when, when it came out first because they were going to wing this whole there's only new Pokemon and you'll only find the new Pokemon and there aren't any returning Pokemon in the original decks and blah 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 blah. And like, I saw... Would you shut up? I get it! It's not my fault you picked like the shittiest Pokemon game to appear in. Now you have to go ru ruining the best one by not shutting up. The um... So yeah, I was really excited about it and then like a lot of the Pokemon designs, and I still agree with this, a lot of the Pokemon designs in black and white I actually really love. Like I like a, a lot of them. But like... And I like the style, like, there's a whole lot that I like about black and white. I feel similar to black and white about, like, I do about Scarlet and Violet, actually. An Alpha Crobat to our right. Oh, well. <laughs> Isn't it Impolo18 who likes Crobat a lot? I think. There's definitely somebody who likes Crobat a lot. The, um... But yeah, so, so like, I want to like it, and there's a lot that makes me like it, but then there's a lot that just makes it annoying to play. Like, the fact that, like, I've talked about this before, but one, the fact that, like, the encounter rate is absolutely ridiculous, as to, like, make it just irritating to get through anywhere you want to get through. And then, like, even though they do the, um, wait, could those be? Oh, torches. They might be useful. In a dark place like this. The old Robotnik would have made it perilous. The new Robotnik would not make it perilous. Ready for adventure! The, um... But yeah, like, Pokemon... Pokemon Black and White, the... Then, like, as I say, like, I think it's really cool that they, um... That they do the whole, like, oh, you only find new Pokemon. But then the problem is, is that you find the same Pokemon everywhere. Like, I feel like, I feel like, let's say if you compare it to Pokemon Blue and Red, which is like another game where there's only the one set of 150 Pokemon or whatever, because there's 150 you're born to see to be a Pokemon master is my destiny. I feel like you still have a little, like, like you still have a feeling of, of, like, uniqueness or whatever to the different areas. Like, it's not like every single area you find Rattata, Pidgey, and Spearow or whatever. You just don't. There's, like, the random, random routes where you... Wait a second, where's this Alpha Crobat he was, like, all... Yeller about? I don't see any Alpha Crobat. Well, I saw it before. The, um... 
Like, in Pokemon Blue and Red, you don't have, you, you have, like, let's say the random route where you have Sandshrew, or the random route where you have, like, Ekans, and the random route where you have, where you have, like, Nidoran or whatever. And you don't, I never really, like, you had that in a, a little bit in, in, in black and white, and that, like, you had, like, this is the area where you find vanilla or whatever. But, like, what I remember it feeling like, I did not mean to do that. Ujana, you're too strong! Saying that sunlit garden. I really love that sunlit garden music from from uh, Revolutionary Girl Utena. It's so good. Did I, like, accidentally use the strong style on that bar boat by accident? <laughs> I think that's probably what I do. Oh, if I do another one of them, that'll be probably about perfect. I think, uh, then maybe I can catch this wish cat. But yeah, I feel like outside of, like, the, 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 the special areas, like, let's say, caves and towns and things like that, I feel like all you find in, in, um, I feel like all you find is, like, not Zeb Spryka, what's the, what's the pre-evolution, like, the original one, Zeb Spryka is the big one, like, the evolution, the evolution of the vulture. Like, the, um, whatever the small one is, like, you have that everywhere, you have, I think it's kind of, like, intimidating, to say the least. I, I meant to, like, run away. <laughs> run away. <laughs> you have that everywhere, you have, like, Tim Pole everywhere, like, or Palpitoad or whatever. You just have, like, the same, like, handful of Pokemon did, did we ever catch a Zubat? Would you rather be a leg? Do you ever see a brown light? The, um... Like, I feel like you have the same, like, handful of Pokemon that you just see everywhere, and I'm like, this is so just an... And that coupled with the encounter rate that's just, like, off the charts, I'm just like, I can't deal with this. So, like, ev so there's that... And then there's, like, the story is really intrusive. Like, you can't, like, walk, like, ten paces without some, like, weirdo showing up to tell you to tell you their life's philosophy or something like that. And I'm like, just get out of my way, you know? So, like, I just found it really frustrating to play despite, like, the cool Pokemon designs and, like, the areas are really pretty and the music is good, you know? Anyway, this guy is apparently from Pokemon Black and White, not a, that I'd ever know. And he has, like, a brother who looks the exact same, like a twin brother. All I could do was remember my name. You might want to start changing your ways. Or changing your name. Became a warden, but I still wonder what my true purpose is here. But, like, you made a big mistake joining the Pearl Clan... Any any clan that it accepts you, you wouldn't want to be a member of it in the first place. Th there's just Golduck wandering around the place for days. Hang on a second. Scaling perilous heights. It's probably like time to... That's just, that's another Heracross. Here was I thinking I was lucky to find the one that, that was in the tree. But apparently they're just walking around here where anyone can catch them. This is the Wayward Wood. Is that one of the places where I have to catch a combi? Do you know how there's like something like 50 ways to leave your lover and 10 different places some goon wants me to catch a combi in? I think one of them is the Droning Meadow or whatever. And one of them is something else. There's a Moth Im. What the hell is that? Oh, a Stantler. I can't see. I need to like fix my... My quality of life blind. Yeah, there we go. Another Heracross. Here was I thinking I was so special finding that one in a tree. <laughs> I didn't just like... I just accidentally crossed swords with Alpha Mothim. Just... <laughs> oh my god. This is not a safe place to end the video. Hang on a second. While they're talking, I'm going close in the blind. Hey! What's the big idea? 
you get some sort of amusement stomping around and ruining people's noble deeds? Oh, rendering a cave impassable to people who venture inside hardly seems noble to me. It's his cave. He runs this town. Ingo, you're the one who just fell out of the sky. I extinguished those lights for the sake of Pokemon in the cave who prefer the dark. Like, I can see where Melly is coming from. Melly's like, can't we just leave the Pokemon be Pokemon? If the Pokemon want to, like, live wild and dangerous, then let them live wild and dangerous. If you think I'll just let you saunter ahead to meet Lord Electrode, you're sorely mistaken. Yada yada, defeat the partner Pokemon. Yeah, do you know what? I'll beat him off. Go Skuntank! It's the hairiest, smelliest ape there is. It's a Quidgy bow. I don't think this is like the right matchup, is it? Well, no, isn't Skuntank like poison and dark? What does this even do again? Sprays to use our offense and blah 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 blah. Increases the damage dealt by the. As apparent, that seems good to me. But I not like sleep powder is. See, I don't know, this is the point where I'm like, would I not just use like one regular drain punch and then like one strong one and probably kill it? Yeah, there we go. Or just like two regular ones. Well, at least I didn't die. <laughs> at least I didn't die! <laughs> the, um... That, that's like me all out with like... With like... Stat increasing moves or whatever. In my mind, like, I'm always like... Ugh. I, I'm fighting one Pokemon here. Do I want to waste a turn, like, increasing my stats, or will I just, like, hit him twice and take him out, you know? There's no shame in the tactical retreat. It's more of an advance if you think about it. Keep your guard up. We'll be back. Oh, Melly. I, l <laughs> I hate to see you go, but I love to watch you leave. I cannot fathom Warden Melly's intentions, but for now- He explained them to you! His intentions are to just give Ireland back to the Irish. He wants to give Heeswee back to the Pokémon. I, I need to, like, finish this video before someone else starts talking. Anyway, thanks a million for watching this part of Let's Play Pokémon Legends Arceus. I'll see you next time. Bye now.